Hello and welcome to ITNs. Today we are going to look at installing Windows 2019 server on VirtualBox. Welcome back to ITNs. So now let's look how we can install Windows 2019 server on a VirtualBox. Right? So let's go to the URL uh, or you can actually search on Google to download Windows 2019 uh, and then you will be redirected to the first option that is from Microsoft and once you click on that then you will be actually going to the URL this particular URL where you will be asked to provide the details like first name last name company size and all those things right all those fields are mandatory because it is start and then you can click on continue uh, then you can uh, then you will be going to the next screen where you will be prompted to select the language so as you can see you have the variety of language that you can use to download windows 2019 um, for us english is good so we can actually use english and click on download right now the download will start and you will be prompted to save the file on your desktop but in the interest of time i have already downloaded uh, windows 2019 and it's on my uh, c drive so I've saved Windows 2019 ISO file on C drive. Okay, now we're ready to go. We'll open VirtualBox and we'll click on New. We'll give it a name as Win 2019 Training. Okay, uh, we can leave the default location of uh, Windows, Microsoft Windows. And we'll select Windows 2019 64 bit and then click on next. We'll give the RAM 2 GB is good enough for our lab environment. So we are good with this and we'll click on next. Then we'll choose the option of the disk. So we have three options here. One, we don't need a virtual disk. Two, create a virtual disk. Three, use an existing disk. So We'll choose the one uh, which is for uh, create a virtual disk for now because we don't have um, a existing hard disk that we can use of. So we'll use that same, uh, I mean, we'll use the option of create a virtual disk now and click on create. Now again, in that we have three options. First, VDI, that is virtual box disk image. Second option is virtual hard disk. And the third option is virtual machine disk so for us i mean it doesn't matter you can use any of them it will work for with virtual box but for us we can use a default one that is vdi and click on next this is for the simplicity sake um, we will not uh, complicate things here so uh, let's try to keep it very simple and running yeah now we have other options what sort of physical disk we we'll, we are looking for uh, we can use two or uh, there are two options we can use either dynamic or we can use a fixed one so for us we'll use the dynamic because we are fine in uh, occupying the space on my physical hard disk these, these are all virtual disks right so i'm fine in occupying the space on the on my physical hard disk gradually so it will be like uh, it will grow as we are using the 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 data on the virtual machine so I click on next and 50 GB is good enough for us uh, for the lab, lab environment so I can click on create and I'll leave it as a default location right fine if you want to do more fine tunings of these virtual machines you can go on these options click out here and um, if you want to change the RAM you can click out here I'll uncheck the floppy because I don't need a floppy to for the boot purpose, right? So I'll, I'll, I'll uncheck that and you can click on processor if you want to increase the processor speed or uh, number of cores that you want to use for the installation, you can configure there. So it is going to use four CPUs out of the allocated eight CPUs. So, I mean, we are good with four CPUs in our lab environment. Okay, I'll click on display and this is the setting where actually uh, the ram that will be utilized for displaying for this particular virtual machine so we'll leave it as default now here's the main part storage 
Now we have two storages here, right? One is empty and the another one is VDI. Now VDI is the one which we are using or which we created while we were configuring hard disk. It's a VDI file. Now second option, there is empty. As you can see, it's looking like a disk image. So what I have to do is I have to actually uh, select a disk file and I'll click on my C drive download and I have to point it to the ISO file which I've already downloaded. So I'm selecting Windows Server 2019 ISO and I click on open. We are now fine and we can uh, I mean click on OK and that's all. So we, we are now ready to go and we are we can click on start. So that will initiate the process of installing virtual machine with Windows Server 2019. Yeah. Okay, as you can see our virtual box is booting up and as you can see uh, started loading files which is required to install the operating system. There you go. You now see the Windows 19 2019 logo and here is the first screen. So out here you have to choose the option of language and the keyboard uh, style that you will be using. So we'll use English India and then click on next and then click on install now. Okay, so now we have the option for selecting the operating system. So we have four options here. One, using standard evaluation. Second, sec standard evaluation with desktop experience. Third, data center ev evaluation. And fourth, data center evaluation with desktop experience. So for here, what I'll do is I'll select data center evaluation and click on next. Now I'm presented with the license terms and conditions. So I can click on I accept and click on next. Now we are getting two options. One to upgrade or to do a custom install. So I'll select custom install. Click on next. I leave it this as default for the hard disk and I click on next. Now as you can see my installation is started. So I'll pause the recording till the next checkpoint. Okay, so installation is almost uh, getting complete. And now we're getting the option to uh, reboot. Uh, okay, so now the server is uh, coming up. We don't need to press any key or else it will boot from the CD. So we can ignore that. Okay, so now we can see the Windows logo and we can see the devices are getting ready, getting devices ready and Windows is now getting ready. And again, it's going to boot. Yes, because it has installed all the drivers and now it is uh, ready to boot. So, uh, this is the first screen wherein we get uh, the option to provide our password. Uh, this is the admin password or super user password. So we'll, we'll key in the password and click on finish. That was the last step of configuration. So now we're getting the option of finalizing your settings. All right, now our Windows Server 2019 is up. That's all guys, uh, that's all we wanted to do for now. And we'll also now look in the next video, I'll post about Ubuntu. Uh, how do we install Ubuntu on VirtualBox? And then post that, we'll start with our sessions on Docker. Thank you all. Keep watching and keep learning. Until next time.